dedicated to uh, Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton. The monument is the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment, the women's right to vote. The sculpture is a wonderful way to commemorate people who we admire. And it's not in a biography or in a book. They're, you know, when we see them, we're reminded. Walking this direction, you'll get a beautiful sort of uh, greeting with Sojourner. This is how tall you are looking at the monument. And having that height, I wanted to also make sure that um, there are these, this interest down here, um, Harriet looking right at you so that you would bring the viewer right into the sculpture. I think this is like the nucleus of the composition with the 19th Amendment and the, their cooperation of them working on it together. The piece then moves up, I call the, you know, up the coalescence as the, as the water droplet um, falls. It sort of makes this beautiful sort of uh, um, shape. And Ida B. Wells and Alice Paul are on the top of the coalescence. Ida B. Wells has an outstretched hand here, paying homage to the women before her, sort of standing on the shoulders of the giants. The American flag is there so that our Constitution keeps the ideals that all women and men should be equal. The ripples, just for me, were sort of a way to sort of bring the monument closer to the viewer. One thing that I really like about the ripple design is that there's going to be names of the women, their signatures, in raised lettering on the ripples so that you'll see the whole group of women that it took to make this happen. This was an important accomplishment for women, so I really wanted to make sure that the immensity of, and the scale was there. There's only, I think, one portrait of Elizabeth Cady Stanton, which I just find amazing. If you read her words, oh, they're just so moving. It's just a crime that there's just one likeness of her. And, you know, a lot of times, not even any paintings, you know, so it's just important that we, we see these women every day. Seeing them every day will help us remember their goals and remember their aspirations. I think just sending a message to every woman that they can, you know, that they do have a voice and they can use their voice. I hope that the monument just inspires young women. Little girls. <laughs>